Hey YouTube, it's Donica or Nika or Nika Bunny or Nika Bunny Sings or Nika or whatever you want to call me that isn't so offensive that it would probably make me cry tears of blood. And today we are going to be playing Jehaziel, who is part of the Limbo Deals 2 mod. Um, we would be, we've been taking some Limbo Deals on a couple of runs. I'm just going to go ahead and show you exactly what Jehaziel does. As we can see, he's like a, what are they called? With the, with the big eye? The... those things he has toothless key as his starting item he has tears that deal more damage to an enemy than the enemy's hp will continue on with the remainder like they do with polyphemus that is written a little weird but we will see what that means um jehaziel has a slightly higher base chance to get into limbo deals birthright further increases his chance toothless key doesn't increase golden key or bomb chance from limbo chest as much as it normally does when playing as jehaziel limbo chest can drop instead of normal chest while playing as jehaziel five percent chance each which stacks with toothless key it seems like he has a bit of a polyphemus uh, effect going on. Largely, he's just kind of a new character that you can get more limbo deals with, which is pretty cool. I like the limbo deals, the limbo deal, limbo deal, why can't I speak? The limbo deal items have been fun. They've been fun to try out. They've been fun to see how they work. Um, and I do love getting the limbo deals when I don't get any other deal because it just makes it feel less, less annoying to lose a devil or angel deal getting the limbo deal. So let's see how we like Jehaziel and if he can get super powerful. We missed every special room. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope the weekend treated you well. I think I'm largely for right now putting streaming to the side, unfortunately, but the new schedule will probably be Monday, to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then it'll also be Saturday and Sunday if I'm not going to stream. So therefore, I'll be making content basically every single day, um, but it just won't be any streaming. Right now, my anxiety is so bad that I just don't think streaming is going to work out for me right now which sucks, and I hate to admit that to myself, but I'd rather not stream and put out good content majority of the time and be able to be on time with my videos than to try to stream and just struggle horrifically with the anxiety that I was feeling. So it's really hard for me to be on and on camera while I'm still working through the emetophobia, but once that's better, I do plan to go back to streaming, and I am working on recovery, so uh, patience, thank you. I love you so much. You guys have been so patient and lovely. We're nearly at 1,500 subscribers, which is insane. Run the channel up if you can. Show your friends, tell your family, tell anybody you know that loves Isaac, that wants to talk about real shit or whatever the case. Um, we're just here to have fun. We're here to play a game. We're here to have fun. So I'm trying to force myself to sit up and sit back because I sit like this in so many of my videos because of anxiety and it's really uncomfortable. There's an ambulance going by and as much as it sucks, I always tell myself that I hope everybody's okay and it could be way worse. I could be the one requiring that ambulance. I'm grateful that I'm not, and I hope everybody is okay. Um, because honestly, it's just noise, but it's noise that's needed. And if they're going to save somebody's life, I hate to complain. All right, let's get it going. Today, we're just going to be talking a little bit more about the rap scene, honestly, because it seems like a lot of you guys liked that commentary and just the music scene in general. I have the, why did that like not come out of the chest? Red C, five times the fire rate up, 80% damage down, Plus 1.5 range up, down shot speed, it's a piercing shot with 20% knockback, and your tears fire in a wave pattern. Let's fucking try it. We'll see what this enemy has to offer. It's basically like soy milk. Uh, a little bit less of a damage down, it looks like, maybe? I feel like with soy milk, my damage would be in the point somethings right now. I love milk. I really do. Not to drink, bitch. I don't drink milk. I'm not a demon. I just like the item milk. Um, so, we'll see what this does uh the shot speed i definitely want to get up but other than that it's like a soy milk soy milk with a little less of a tear rate maybe we'll see very similar though which is awesome because i like soy milk so i will take it um but yeah so basically i i just i have like a bit of a perspective where it's like i'm really deeply involved in the music community where i read a lot of things and i follow a lot of artists and i listen to a ton of music uh, and I like a lot of the things people do and I watch a lot of producers and how they make beats and, you know, I know how to sing and so, you know, I'm not in the music industry, but I love it enough to be invested in it. But I appreciated you guys loving to hear me talk about something that's sweet and also hasn't happened in my life much. So, anyways, what sparked me, uh, and that's, and I don't mean that in a douchey way, by the way, I feel like that came off really douchey. Like, I know some, I don't. There's so many things I don't know. There's so many things that happen behind the scenes that I could never talk about because I don't make music professionally yet. Yet, 
the key being yet, by the way, if you guys don't know, the reason why my name is Nika Bunny Sings is because Nika Bunny Sings, and I want to want to make music. So there will be music coming out at some point in the future. It's just right now, while I'm trying to build my channel, I don't want to do the wrong thing and inundate you guys with a bunch of stuff. So I should take the blue heart to keep the devil deal, but I'm going to take Mama Mega instead because I want to use it next floor. There's another ambulance going by. Um, please don't take my in-video singing, by the way, as like a real serious attempt at a good singing uh, voice, I guess. I, I know that sounds weird, but like, I mean, you know, I'm just being silly with you guys. Um, but I promise when I do put out music, it will sound better than that. <laughs> I promise. Um, so Drake kind of responded to Kendrick a little bit. Not fucking really. Like, Kendrick sort of roasted Drake to smithereens and... Drake was kind of like, this was all part of my plan. Uh, uh, hello, bitch. Hello, bitch. I do love these little chests that pop up at the beginning of each floor. It's like something to look forward to as we're starting another floor, um, which is dope. Those things have a lot of fucking health. Good grief. We have one heart, so we want to play it safe. We want to make sure that we're dodging. But Drake was basically like two things, which were really stupid, bad responses. One of them being, I'm too young to be a pedophile, which, hey, by the way, doesn't work that way you're also 37 you're very much in the range in which you could be a pedophile i hate to break it to you but 21 year olds can be pedophiles you're not even 10 years older than that you're 16 years older than that my guy you're not a fucking kid anymore you're young for sure 37 is very young this is a very young man sure but you're not a kid and to think that you're too young to be a pedophile at the age of 37 is one, damning, because you're not, like, I feel like anybody with common sense would know that isn't true. But two, the fact that that's one of your responses, I feel like that's some shit that I would hear on fucking Chris Hansen, dude. Who even says that as a rebuttal? The rebuttal should be, I have no interest in children. I would never talk to somebody who's underage. I would never talk to a minor. I don't have bad intentions. Not, I'm too young. So that was a weird comment. And then um, all of it is going to his plan. Hey, what was your plan? To be outed? What was the plan? I don't even think, I think he should just not respond. Honestly, because there's nothing to say. There's been a lot that's been brought to light. One of the things I think that was really interesting that Kendrick Lamar brought up was his blatant abuse of the black community and what i mean by that is pretending to have a background that he just soon pertains to most black people to get money and views and listens on his song about struggles he never had and things he never did and uh, personalities he never had and struggles he never faced things that really frustrate me i'm a black person i'm going to be an artist and one thing i'm definitely not gonna do is rap about how fucking hard my life's been in terms of gangster shit has my life been hard yeah, it hasn't been easy. But one thing I've never been is a fucking gangster, and I'm not going to pretend or try. You know what I mean? It's a very weird thing to do. Contract with Ultra Greed. Gain 15 coins. Drop store key. Coins will sometimes spawn as double coins. When you take damage, you drop some coins. This item is heavily configurable, okay? And then we have participation reward. One soul heart, one damage down, tears up, range up, speed up, shot speed up, and luck up. This item is not removed from the pool on pickup. Effects stack with multiple copies, but there is a limit to how much the damage can be decreased by. Uh, because it's a one damage down, we're not going to take it. But because I'm not taking it, we will take Curse of the Tower. Just to balance out the fact that I'm protecting the run a little bit, we will take Curse of the Tower to balance it out. But yeah, it's really weird to take advantage of a community that's already largely hurting within itself and outside of it, knowing that you're doing that and you're banking on the fact that people will be ignorant to how your life truly was by just lying all the time. And it's one thing if you like pull a little Tekka and you make a song as a kid and you're talking about all these things and he came out in an interview and was like, I can't even drive. None of it was real. Yeah, well, we can assume you're like 15. You know what I mean? Like we can assume that largely none of the things that you said that happened in that song was real. And having a bit of, uh, I don't know, show for a song, that's fine. But basing your whole personality off of being this tough guy that went through these things that didn't happen, which by the way, are super glorified. Um, struggling is not something that's fun or something that's easy to handle or easy to get through. So the fact that he thought that was something to brag about was weird to begin with, in my opinion. Um, that irks me. 
And then on top of that, we have to talk about the misogyny. And it's not just Drake, unfortunately, who's guilty of this, especially in the rap community and especially against dark-skinned black women, which Drake doesn't like. That's very, very common. Misogyny is insanely common in the rap community, unfortunately. And on top of that, it's even more common if you're a dark-skinned woman. It just so happens to be that people are insanely racist, critical, and they tend to be very belittling of women in general who are largely seen as sex objects in most songs. Now, I know that there are a lot of rappers who stand for their shit and say different things, and it's not the case all the time. And I love rap, okay? Sometimes I'll be saying some wild fucking lines. Like, somebody will be like, I fucking clapped that bitch and dropped her off on the side of the road. And I'm like, yeah, you know, like... Everything doesn't need to be taken insanely seriously, but it is definitely a repetitive problem that's becoming harmful, I would say, where people are really taking these lyrics to heart, dude. People are really taking these things seriously. People really think you should treat women like absolute garbage and dog shit. People really think the goal is to get as many bitches as you can and all this kind of stuff, and it's like... Drake himself, I'm pretty sure, rapped about this, was like, I don't know where these boys got these ideals from in one of his songs a long time ago. Bitch, from you. From you and every other rapper who talks about women and their music videos are nothing creative but just people shaking ass. And listen, I like to twerk, okay? If you can shake some ass, shake some ass. But good grief. Like, there used to be creativity in music videos that I feel like is largely lacking, especially in rap. Now, we've gotten some cool fucking visuals. We definitely have. Um, especially with Lyrical Lemonade coming up, Cole Bennett. Those cool music videos have definitely risen a little bit. And cool visuals and different artists getting involved and, and 3D animations and things like that that I really appreciate rap artists doing. But largely, it's just been a lot of like, how many bitches can I fuck and how many people have I harmed and what makes me tough and, you know... There's definitely truth to some of that culture. People are growing up in the ghetto. People are growing up in the hood. People are struggling deeply to feel safe and to be protected in the places that they grew up in. And there's nothing wrong with rapping about your experiences, but it gets harmful when you're harming an entire group of people and considerably talking about it and then taking out those actions in real life. Again, I also feel different if like Little Tekka, for example, he was just like, hey, none of that happened. And I'm not sad to admit it. I don't treat people poorly. I don't whatever. It's one thing if you're just rapping about something, but it's another thing if you're rapping about something and taking it seriously to heart. If you're actually treating women like Drake treats women, that's a problem. And it's something that needs to be addressed. So the misogyny being pointed out uh, was definitely much needed, much obliged. we appreciate that and it's not like i'm saying kendrick lamar has never been misogynistic in his lyrics i'm sure he has but the fact that drake's actions match his words is scary and i think it's not a good sorry for the fucking constant motorcycle i don't know what the fuck they're doing outside are they just sitting and revving they're sitting and having some fucking fun on their bike drive um i think largely there are a ton of young impressionable boys that are huge drake fans and that's not good again i knew as a kid you don't do the shit that's in a song ever it doesn't matter what genre it is there's all kinds of genres that talk about fuck shit people that sing about horrible things and killing people and all kinds of stuff it's not just rap first off and it's not all rap artists and it's not just that kind of music and i there's definitely pop songs that talk about all kinds of things and girls that talked about doing all kinds of kinds of crazy shit and all kinds of stuff that you could point to and i i was taught that music is music It's an expression. It's not something that you replicate or do. But not everybody is taught that. Which, yes, you could be like, that's the parent's fault, of course. But at the end of the day, you do have a slight responsibility about the things that you put out there and uh, the things that you promote. And by doing them, you're promoting them. Hate to break it to you. Um, And I'm not talking about just existing in a body or something and that's promoting. No, we're not going there. That's not what I mean. I just mean like... Again, if he was just rapping about it and that was just something he wanted to rap about, it's not, it doesn't mean he's promoting it. It's the same way that 21 Savage came at him when he was doing a bunch of really awesome charity work and doing things in his community. And people were like, but you rap about these horrible things. He was like, yeah, because I did them and they happened. And you're not going to tell me I can't rap about my experience and experiences that other people who are rapping have had. And I agree with that. But again, in experiences like, I don't know, growing up in a ghetto or having to fight for your right to live and survive or your family being poor, not denying children or treating women horribly or any of that stuff. It's not an experience, it's a choice. Now, we do like that Drake has gone to therapy for these things and Kendrick Lamar did point that out. 
but largely he doubles down on a lot of stuff and with his responses to things it doesn't feel like he's ultimately that apologetic again i'm just using what is this worm farm tears deal 0.1 damage for each worm effect they have chance for tears to have a random worm effect not affected by luck sure we'll take it why not um, and again, I want to reiterate that I am not just picking on Drake. I actually really liked a lot of his early music. I didn't have a huge problem with him before. I thought he was kind of an asshole, but it's because he's kind of an asshole. Some of the things he did was creepy. I didn't really fuck with his socials or anything. But largely, he was just Drake. He's kind of had a big ego, made some popular music. Every album had a couple songs that were great. A lot of them were mid to me. And I would move on. Didn't think about it that much. Um, you know, and I don't... I don't... I don't hate Drake as much as say. I think I dislike him more because there's some stuff that was brought to attention that I didn't know. But it's not like I'm trying to condemn him for the entire genre of music having an issue with misogyny. The same way that I, I'm not like condemning one star from country for the weird undertones of racism that has started to come up in that community when that's not what country was about when you listen to the Johnny Cash and the Dolly Parton and the black people that started country with no nothing like that now it's like a weird undertone of like we won't listen to Beyonce because that's not real country huh you know what I mean like but that's not I don't know I can't think of a single fucking country star that's popular right now because I don't really listen to country right now um but that's not I don't know does Colby Kayette cut Colette Colette Colby Colette does she make country she like pop country it's not i don't know fucking taylor swift does she count as a country star now guys honestly i'm just saying it's not any individual's fault but there are some offenders that definitely perpetuate it more than others if you're a star and you're living a life and you're in the spotlight you are allowed to live your life the way that you so please and this is for fame and famedom and the music industry and being a celebrity in general you are allowed to live your life the way that you want to. You don't technically owe anybody any kind of lifestyle. But one thing you have to be like very much aware of is that people are going to see the things that you do. And the idea that you can just do whatever the fuck you want and there's no re repercussions or, oh, it's so much harder for me because I'm in the spotlight. Well, that you have a responsibility to not share horrific things, not do horrible things, not treat people terribly, not spread bad ideologies, not hate on people publicly. I'm not talking about people who are, uh, you know, attacking you or your family or whatever, but I'm talking about you don't want to be a racist largely in the public eye as you're benefiting off the public. People are going to call you out for that, and you're alienating an entire group of people who are not going to listen to your music. Um, and there's going to come the discussion of do you deserve to have those people's support in general if you're going to treat others terribly? Um... I'm hoping one day to be famous. I'm hoping one... Did I go down here? Fuck, I didn't. Holy shit, it's polyphemus. Fuck, we got like a double polyphemus effect now. My tears went down quite a bit. But look at that. Hell yeah, we got 4.99 damage with five tears. That's pretty good. We got Ma the Void. This is a pretty good build so far. I'm actually liking this run. And I like this character. I think it's just regular to, to, to play with. The items that he starts with are, are cool enough. The two chests in the beginning of the floor are great. It's a very low key change to the game, but it's nice. I like it, it's not overwhelming, and he goes great with the limbo deals. I'm really rambling and mumbling on, but I feel like one thing we don't talk about enough in general as we consume media and we support people is that like you can't just do whatever the fuck you wanna do. And I mean that with the most freedom of speech, fucking whatever way imaginable, okay? The pure American eagle noise insert here way of thinking, but also like you have consequences for the things that you say and do, and you do hurt people, whether or not you want to admit it, whether or not you think that's some soft shit, it's not. If you're spreading horrible ideologies and then acting upon them as well, you're teaching people that this is something you can do and also usually get away with. And that is harmful no matter how much you want to deny it. It's harmful. It's harmful. You should be held accountable for the things that you do and say. I don't listen to Kanye West anymore. And that sucks because Kanye West makes good music. Well, he did. I think it's dropped in quality as of recently. But I don't listen to Kanye West anymore because I can't. He said too many awful fucking things for so, so long. Had so much horrible red flag behavior it's just been such a bad character for so long that I just can't. And do I know that he has mental health issues? Yes, so do I. Very severely. 
very severely. Like I barely function and yet I'm not being a racist. I'm not saying horrifically anti, uh, I'm not saying horrible anti-Semitic things. I'm not sexist. I don't say anti-black things. I don't double down on the crazy shit that I say. I don't spread conspiracy theories and, um, I don't know. I don't co-parent so terribly that the whole fucking internet can see it from here. It's just, there's all kinds of things that you can find excuses for, but at the end of the day, he's surrounded by yes men that don't tell him no. I think he might have apologized about some of the shit he said, but I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, it was a mid-ass apology to begin with. Take accountability for the things that you do. Like a real fucking human being, you're not a Colleen Ballinger on a fucking couch with a ukulele saying anything but sorry, dude. You're Kanye fucking West, dude. You've been in the fucking public eye for forever. You gotta work on yourself and actually mean the shit that you say, not just say sorry in a half-assed way and then continue to say some out-of-pocket shit. And I would love to see Kanye West have a complete reform and glow up and change the way that he talks about other people and the things that he says. But here's the thing too, he says these things and I see comments all the time, people being like, you're just telling the truth. People are ignoring you, but you really know the truth. Oh, watch your back, brother. They'll kill you. They'll get you for telling the truth. People really eat this shit the fuck up. It's his fault that he's spreading these ideologies. He's spreading these ideologies to kids that listen to him. He's spreading these ideologies to other people who might be easily susceptible to believing things, to his longtime fans, people that trust him. There is a level of trust that comes with being in the public eye. There's a level of trust that comes with asking people to trust you, to, to trust you to put out good music, to have their best intentions in mind, to make sure that their money is well spent and worth it. And I just don't support anybody or anything because I can. I'm not gonna listen to music just because it's good. To an extent, I separate the man from the music. You have to, because everybody does something. And if you really have like a, a large want for morality, you can't, nobody is perfect. You know what I mean? Largely, I forgive many things. There are a lot of rappers that I listen to that have done bad things in their life. There are a lot of people that I listen to that have not been perfect, but holy shit, dude, there's an extent. There's a level, there's a limit, and we've reached it. And I think I reached it with Drake. <laughs> This guy's making me lose my fucking mind. He's like doubling down and just not making any sense and not taking accountability or showing any evidence to prove that anything has been wrong or that the evidence that's so far been shown isn't correct. He's not doing the right shit. It bothers me. So in general, I guess I'm just saying that the industry is messy and it isn't easy being famous or being in a public eye. I have lots of fears that I'll mess up one day if I do actually grow. I always wanna be the YouTube channel or the musician or just a person that you can come to and you can expect wholesome, good content that is never gonna be predatory. I don't wanna take advantage of anybody. I always wanna make sure that if people support me or support my Patreon or support the channel that it's well worth it. I don't take anything for free. I don't want people to feel like I'm gonna be spreading false ideologies or harmful ideas to people. I never wanna be hateful to one group, group, group or community. I don't want to do any of those things that make it so frustrating to consume media nowadays if you do care about those types of things because it just makes it impossible to enjoy all the things that you're trying to enjoy when you're so worried about the people who you're trying to support. Rabbit's paw. Two luck up. Speed up. Pickups are more likely to spawn as whichever you need the least and less likely to spawn as whichever you need the most. This effect occurs less frequently the higher your luck is. May cause some pickups to be replaced with different ones in strange ways like the lovers dropping random pickups instead of hearts. We'll try it. Why not? We have 21 bombs and seven keys. If anything, we'll just get a lot more bombs. So, largely, I want to continue to be, what is this? On you spawns a random chest at a random position in the room, usually spawns a red chest or a limbo chest. Sure. Uh, broken compass, limbo deals appearing. Cool, take that. All right, even though I have those fears, I'm still gonna try because I largely wanna be a safe little corner on the internet. And I know everything is not perfect and people have horrible opinions and people do bad things and people make mistakes and nothing is perfect and everything can't be safe all the time, but God damn it, we can fucking try. We can try. Like we've, we've demonized people wanting to have safe spaces to be in. Huh? That's bad to you? Like that's something that you don't agree with? You don't want people to be in safe spaces where they're included? That's so fucking weird to me. Like. You're trying too hard to, I don't know. I don't even know what you're trying hard to do. You know what I mean? Like, what is the point of 
of demonizing people wanting safety, wanting to feel like they belong, wanting to feel like they can enjoy something without having to think about something deep or depressing. And of course, we're talking about this all now because it's all coming up. And it's on everybody's mind. You can't get away from the Drake and Kendrick Lamar shit. Even if you don't listen to rap, it's everywhere. It's on Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, or X, whatever. YouTube, anywhere that you go to be online in any way or capacity, you're probably going to swipe by an article or somebody having a take or whatever on this stuff. And it brings up a lot of bigger issues, which is like, how are we holding people accountable for doing the things that they're doing? Who's hanging out with bad people who are just saying yes to everything? Who are these bad people and are you giving them your money? Are you going to their concerts? Are you supporting their merch? Are you doing those things? It's largely like when a YouTuber ends up being a bad person or having done a bad thing. A lot of people are really, really disappointed because they don't want us to have supported somebody who was using that money to, I don't know, fly a minor out and harm somebody or send horrible messages or be in group chats with kids and say weird sexual things or what, you know what I mean? Like all the shit that's been going on. So I always want to be somebody that you guys can always come to who you'll enjoy the content and there's really no- I died? Anyways, I've been yapping the whole fucking video, but sometimes I like having the talking videos. Sometimes I like talking about stuff. I think it's interesting. Um, anyways, I really like the character. The limbo deals are dope. I think that they work really well. I love getting the limbo deals between other deals and largely the items are cool and they have a good balance of having that good stuff comes with one bad thing. So they did a great job. I liked playing as Jahaziel. It was very fun. I would definitely play it again, and I probably will on the channel. Secondly, thank you for hearing me yap. I just want to summarize and say, one, I'm not trying to knock Drake down another peg, nor do I fucking need to. Kendrick Lamar did it about four times now. He, he handled that. Um, I'm also not trying to condemn rap, because I love rap, and I think rap gets largely a bad rap. I think people are very, very defensive about listening to rap. I think people are very rude about not listening to rap. I think largely people don't understand a lot of it, and there's a lot of good, amazing artists that are putting out music that's just fun or has great meanings or can, talks about the other stuff too, and that's totally fine. I'm not a stickler. I don't think that things have to be so fucking cut and dry. I love a lot of songs that talk about some fucked up shit. But the issue is just when you bring it to real life and you play it out like it's not a song and it's actually something you're doing currently. That's the problem. Um, and thirdly, I'm yapping. I have to have to finish this video, but um, I want you guys to know that I take seriously being a responsible creator and I want you to know that I am here to be your little safe space, your little safe corner of the internet. And if you're struggling to find people that you feel like you can relate to or people that you can just listen to or people that are not going to shove things down your throat or largely just talk about things or somebody who isn't predatory, I'm here for you. I plan to be forever. I don't plan to hurt anybody ever on purpose. I don't plan to do anything bad or negative. And I would be honest if I was going to. I'd be honest. There's no reason to lie. I think we all do things that are bad in our lives in general, but largely I aim to be a good person and always have. So if you're feeling a little bit of fucking fatigue from all this shit coming out about everybody all the time, subscribe, like, comment, share the video. I'm here. And I really mean that genuinely, not just to like get likes and views and shit. I really mean it. Like I look for positive shit on the internet now. I watch uplifting videos in my free time. I find people that talk about things that are either important, need to be brought to light. Am I bleeding? That's random. Or just talk in general i look for funny silly videos i look for memes and fail videos and just fun stuff because i need a palette cleanse so if i need a palette cleanse you probably do too anyways thank you so much for watching it has been nika i will talk to you soon bye we're we're starting a fucking war on these motorcycles what the fuck